Okay, what we're going to start with now is we're going to do a review of what we've gone over so far, and then we're going to conclude that based on the Bible, May 22nd, 11,013, in all probability, would be the first day of creation. Uh, the first program we're going to run, okay, this would be Cal 1. Uh, let's change that to 1. And let me explain. We have a template here with every year from 11,013 B.C. down to 2033 A.D. Now, when I run this macro, this program, it's going to put all the leap years in effect. The R will change to an L. Some of the L's will go back to R's and so on and so forth. And when I hit this, it is done now. And just to double check, we know 2032 is a leap year. We know that the date of creation is a leap year. And we're going to go to 2000. Remember 2000 is a leap year. And remember the three years that are 100 years apart are going to be regular years. See the regular year there? 1800 is a regular. 1700 should be a regular. And then 1600 will be a leap year. Okay. Now the second program we're going to run now is we're going to down at the bottom here we have uh, 14 calendars that are possible. And what we're going to do in a matter of a second or two is for each year we're going to actually put in what the calendar would be for that year. Such as 2032 is a leap year, so we know that's going to end up with Cal 01 through Cal 04. Uh, you can go back and study those numbers. So we're going to hit F10, and there it's done. Okay. Now the third step we're going to run here, okay, is a little bit different. Okay, we ha now have 13,046 years from creation to the year 2033 A.D. What we're going to do now is blow this out. So if we've done everything perfectly, based on the Gregorian proleptic calendar rules, okay, and remember, these rules are based on what God did when he created the orbit of the earth going around the sun. That Remember that number is 365.242198 days on average. So what we're going to do now is this file, which is 13,000 lines, we're going to hit it now. When it's done, it's going to have over 4.7 million lines. That's because every day from the first day of creation to the very last uh, year, 2033 AD, December 31st, constitutes 4.7 million days. And when we go down here, there it is, 4,764,951 days. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in the day, whoops, wrong one. We're going to add in the days of the week. So we're going to close this. We're going to open up the final file. Okay, we're going to go back to this eventually. We're going to copy all this over here. And what we're going to do is we know that the first day of 11,013 B.C., January 1st, I believe is a Friday. And it is a Friday. And we know that, remember this, when we went through earlier the year 2033 A.D., 2033 A.D. started on a Saturday and ended on a Saturday. Okay? Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to copy in all the notes that I have put based on the calendar that I've seen, this particular calendar I've seen in uh, the last couple years. And I'm going to show you that biblically there's two calendars that existed based on the information in uh, uh, Genesis and the Flood. We know for a fact that there was in all likelihood a 30-day calendar starting from the first day of creation. Then we also know that the very day that ended, when that 30-day month calendar ended, at the time of the Exodus, God initiated uh, to the Jews a Hebrew calendar 
which started on first off it had to start with a new moon then it had to start with Nissan 1 and let's go there and see if that's true 01447 BC we're going to go down here now we're at the year of creation you see, I'm sorry at the Exodus now we're going to go down now this exact example is found in Harold Camping's book Time Has an End he predicted and he's correct based on the calendar we've just done that the Exodus was Nisan 14 day 14 it happens to be in the Gregorian proleptic calendar March 21st it's the year 1447 BC it was the Passover and it was the day that Israel left Egypt and it was the equinox now this is the new calendar God started in the year 1447 BC now Nisan 1 is the first day of the first month ever of Nisan now this calendar continues to go even to today for the Jews the Orthodox Jews follow this now remember prior to any uh, new month in the Jewish calendar there has to be a new moon so this means that March 7th 1447 BC was a new moon and we predicted that the previous day the 30th day of the last day of the 30 day month calendar would end right there now what I did was I pre-programmed this and you can see when we go up this last month this last 30 day month was actually February 5th 1447 BC and then as we go down we'll see 30 days later this is the last day of the 30 day month now the interesting thing is if we go to 11,012 BC we're going to go up here now here's the criteria if we can find a Sunday Sabbath day that also has the first day of the 30 day month that would be a candidate for the first day of creation so we're going to go up slowly and lo and behold we find one here where it's December 18th that's a leap year okay that's calendar 5 and it meets both those criteria it's a Sunday and it's also a new month day one okay now there's only one other uh, combination of this that exists farther up and I'm going to just take you right there because I'm very convinced that May 22nd 11,013 BC based on the proleptic Gregorian calendar which we just created for you lands on a Sunday and at the same time it's a new month new day and that means that May 22nd would have been the first uh, Sunday Sabbath morning the next day was Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday then Saturday now what I want to show you lastly is I want to show you the time spans that actually have come to being because of this what we're going to find out is that okay here's our calendar that we just looked at here's Wednesday March 6th 30th day of the last day here's the new moon okay so between here and here we end the first calendar of 30 day months then the Jewish calendar started on Thursday, March 7th, 1447 BC. And then as we go down, we come to day 14 of the Jewish calendar, and then we find all these possibilities that occur there. And of course, the 15th day of any Jewish calendar, I believe, is always a full moon. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to go down a little bit further, and I want to show you some new time spans that if indeed we have perfected the Gregorian proleptic calendar these are some very interesting things now when we look at time spans in the Bible they're not just interesting God put those there and he's revealing more and more information to us now May 22nd 11,013 BC would be the first day of creation and if you look and count the number of days to March 6, 1447 BC you have a perfect set of 30 day months I counted the days between those two days above divide that by 30 and it comes out exactly to 116,461 days so that shows you from creation up until 
the end of the 30-day month was a 30-day month calendar, as best we can tell. Now, again from creation, from May 20 to May 21st, 1988, okay, this is when the uh, uh, Great Commission had ended and the churches started to become apostate. What we find out is when you go from May 21st to this date, to, I'm sorry, 22nd to May 21st, you end up that this date, the world is exactly 13,000 years old to the very day. Now the third time span is this. You have the date of creation all the way up to the day of judgment. Okay, May 21st, 2011, when the prolonged judgment day started. And believe it or not, it comes out to the very day, 13,023 years exactly. Now, other time spans we have in here, we have May 22nd, 33 AD, that's Pentecost, to May 21st, 1988, that's 1955 years exactly, and that 1955 breaks down into 5 times 17 times 23. Now, the next time span was when Christ rose from the grave, April 3rd, 33 AD, and that brings us to May 22nd, Pentecost, 33 AD, that was 50 days. That's why Pentecost, Penta means five, and that's why it was called Pentecost, because it's 50 days. Now, September 25th, 29 AD, the baptism of Christ runs to May 22nd, 33 AD, and that runs exactly from that September date in 29 AD, 1335 days. And we read in scripture, Daniel 12, 12, and this has finally been revealed to us, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred five and thirty days. Now number seven, we're looking at when the church started to become apostate, May 22nd, 1988 to September 7th, 1994. Here's this number again, 2300 evening mornings. And where do we find this in scripture? Daniel 8:14. And he said unto me, Unto two thousand three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be be cleaned. Okay? Cleansed. Now May twenty second, nineteen eighty eight, okay, to May twenty first, twenty eleven, is exactly twenty three years, exactly eighty four hundred evening mornings. Okay? So from the time the church became apostate for twenty three hundred evening mornings, at the end of 23 years, Judgment Day began, May 21st, 2011. From the cross, April 1st, 33 AD, to the prolonged Judgment Day of May 21st, 2011, I believe that comes out to 722,500 days, which is a combination of these numbers, 2 times 5 times 17, multiple times. And of course, each of those numbers have a spiritual meaning to them. Now, on the second month, 17th day of the Jewish calendar in 2011, that was 7,000 years from the first judgment, which was the flood, and that happened to be May 21st, 2011. That's the second month, 17th day of the Jewish calendar. So even the Jewish calendar points to the prolonged judgment day being the second month, 17th day, of May 21st, 2011. Now, let's remember this. In Genesis 7:11, we read, In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up, and the windows of heaven were opened. So God gives us a parallel here from the flood all the way up to Judgment Day, and he uses the second month and 17th day in both cases where Judgment Day began. Now, just a verse to think about, Ecclesiastes 3.8, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. God's word is absolutely true, and this is something to think about.